ready for spring. Let's make a welcome piece this spring sign. Love this project because all you need is vinyl scraps. As you can see, I'm using some tie-dye, purple, teal, a little sign that I grabbed at the Target dollar spot, and I'm actually using the Cricut Joy. So the first thing you're gonna do is simply pull up the design either on your iPad or computer, and I have a link below to the design, so all you have to do enough is solid colors you can change this out and make this particular project the colors that you want so here I'm just simply prepping my machine so I can get ready and cut the items out So one of the things you will notice about this particular cut is that my Torquers piece and I believe actually my purple piece that I'm cutting um, are longer than the Cricut Joy mat. They do make some longer mats. I simply was using one that I already had. It's not that big of a deal because the way the Cricut Joy reads it is that it's just looking to make sure whatever you're putting in there is long enough. And of course, I'm using the mat because I'm not using the Smart Permanent Vinyl. But if I were using that on the Cricut Joy, remember, no mat is required for that, which is great. So in a minute you'll see one of my favorite things to do which is the cylinder shaped Kleenex containers. I actually save those when I'm done using the tissue and I use those to put the scraps in um, especially with this particular project since the peeps have like little dotted eyes um, it's just easier to take the vinyl and just kind of stuff it in the Kleenex box. Um, it's a great way to one, reuse things, but to make it simple enough where you don't have the excess vinyl that you're weeding out stuck all over the place. So I already have one of my bunnies weeded out and I am ready to go ahead and use transfer tape to start placing the design down on the little um, wood plaque. You can actually use like an old picture frame. Um, this particular sign because it already had this string up you'll see later on towards the end of this post when I show you the final um, project that it's just a simple small board with the string that you can hang. I have it hanging outside of the house. It's kind of like a welcome, not only welcome spring, but just welcome to the house in general. Such a fun, easy project and it's kid friendly. Like you could totally, if you have a joy, um, let your little ones pick out the colors and even if they don't necessarily weed the eyes out because the eyes on the bunnies are really, really tiny, um, they'll definitely enjoy picking out the colors and placing the design on the sign.
like that, we have the perfect welcome spring sign. Don't forget to make something fabulous.